first off, it's all about the you. When I'm going to do this here, is each is when I get a chance to preview each of our opponents in 2009. The first opponent I'm going to be doing is Florida State on September 7th. Now, here's the thing about Florida State. In the past, you know, they would have another 10-win season and be in a BCS game. That would be usually the MO in Tallahassee. However, that's not been the case the last couple of years. You see, off the field issues have been an issue. The cheating scandal, 14 wins they're going to lose because of, because of it. And, that caught, and, that, and Bobby's probably on the way out in Tallahassee. And it's a shame because he's one of the greatest coaches. I mean, one of the best coaches of all time. There's no question about that. However, let's not underestimate the Knowles here. They still have a very strong running game, and you know we're going to have to we're going to have to be prepared for that, as well as a pretty good offensive line, which some say might be the best in college football by season's end. So our front seven is going to be tested. Their their starter Christian Ponder is the clear cut starter this year. However, as a passer, he's suspect, but don't underestimate him as a runner because he's very very good. We found out last year at Dolphin Stadium. I mean, he just gashed us left and right. However, they're very thin. Other than Ponder and E.J. Manuel, they have no other quarterback. I mean, if they if Ponder goes down and Manuel can't produce, there's no other backup after Manuel. So that's going to be an issue for them. Okay, they do have a very good tight end, Cas Perowski, but that's no one else of note. I mean, really, because uh, so look for Florida State to be more of a heavy run team this year more than a heavy pass team. So you're going to see them more running than you will throwing in 2009. Defensively, they have a they still have a damn good defense. Mickey, as long as Mickey Andrews is there, you know they're going to they're going to turn out very good defenses year after year. However, they are a bit suspect in the passing game as you saw last year. I mean, against Colorado, against Wisconsin, against the Florida, they just gashed their second that secondary to smithereens, okay? You know, they're still suspect. They're also very young. Okay, especially the secondary. From our, from a Kane's perspective, I think we can do a heavy damage this year against their secondary. As you saw their spring game, let me tell you, they are very suspect in that category, and I think we can take full advantage. Their D line is so so, but their linebackers are very very good with Watson. And they have uh, Braden coming back for them. Special teams, you know, they're gonna—they're not gonna have Gano anymore. He was one of their money kickers last year. But they'll have Esco as their kicker, Powell as their punter. But they have a kid under that their staff thinks thinks could be the next great one in Hopkins. From what I've read, you know, I've seen articles about it. This kid has a cannon. He has not only a strong leg, but he's very accurate, and that's something. That's good. They're going to have a weapon like that. Even when Bobby leaves, Jimbo's there. He's, they're going to have a weapon in close games for years to come. So you know in the coming years we're going to have to, be, going to, have to know where that is. Now, they have their 10 best players. Three of them are sophomores and four are juniors. Only three seniors of their best players come back. Now, last year they were penalty prone. Okay, They were penalty prone. They had 102 penalties for 937 yards. That's an average of 9.2 yards of penalty. I mean, when you do commit that that much penalty yards, you lose field position. When you lose that much, that many yards in field position a game, in close games, that's going to kill you. That's going to kill you. However, what they do convert is on third downs. Last year, they converted 46% of the time, but their third down defense was very good. They, could, they allowed just 26% of their opponents to convert on third down. One of the better, one, better third down defenses in the country. Now, another thing I'm going to do this year is when I preview opponents, I'm going to rate the opponents on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the toughest, 1 being the easiest. Off, their Florida State offense, out of 10, I'm going to give them about a 7.5. Their defense gets about a 7.7 .7 out of 10. Their special teams, as a 7.5 out of 10. 
overall degree of difficulty for the 2000 for 2009 is a 7.6 for FSU. So when you look at it, yeah, Florida State has some problems off the field, but this is still going to be a very dangerous opponent really near the end of the season. So lucky we get them early. We're gonna. I think this could be like 2001 when we went up there and completely blew them out. I know I was there at that game. Yeah, I could see FSU this year looking at that schedule win maybe eight games. Possibly nine, but I'm going to say eight and four for the Knowles in 2009. Now, as soon as I have Georgia Tech available, I'll preview their, their season. So... See you next time, and as always, go Canes.